notes from my 2022 reading of In the Water, They Can't See You Cry by Amanda Beard. So this is the book. And Amanda Beard is, was, is an, a swimmer. And this book was initially published back in 2012. And this is the a two, April 2013 gallery books edition paperback. I'll put the ISBN in the video description. So it's by Amanda Beard and with Rebecca Paley. Pally. I have brought this up on this channel before in kind of, I think it was when I was breaking down autobiography, biography, memoir, but video that got broken into two parts for uploading purposes. So link to my notes on autobiography slash biography playlist, as well as my book slash reading notes playlist in Lucky Wallaby Courier. Uh, so I read approximately January, February 2022. And when I was reading this, I was reminded a little bit. So when I was in high school, it, was, it would have been about 2006, 2007, if I'm recalling correctly, we had to choose a biography um, of somebody and then do like a report card. We had like different criteria and then we're supposed to like evaluate the person on different things. And I remember being like, well, I'm on the high school swim team and that's um, kind of like for relevance, maybe I should do a swimmer, but we didn't have any swimmer biographies on the shelves. And I remember thinking, if there was a swimmer, who would I, and like if every swimmer had a biography, who would I choose? That was like kind of active at the time or recently. I was like, well, I like Liesl Jones, but she's not American, so probably not Liesl Jones. So I would go with Amanda Beard because I swam a lot of breaststroke with everybody active 2006, 2007, circa 2006, 2007. Is that the right word? Um, and then, you know, five, six years later, here's the book kind of thing. Um, but not this one because this is the 2013. It was published, initially published in 2012. Um, so yeah, so that was kind of cool uh, and seeing that she had written one. I was like, ah, oh, I would have picked you for that class assignment. Who I chose instead was... Uh, environmentalist and businessman William Boeing and I ended up I think my overall evaluation was a B but it was really personally an A but I was like but I'm doing this for class and you know if somebody steals this information this class assignment I, I, I gave it to the teacher and the teacher gave it back so and I didn't share it with anybody so if anybody has access to it they obtained it without my consent so I was like Keeping that in mind that bad things, pe violations of consent, uh, consent do occur, I should give them a B instead of the A that I personally give them because, you know, those anti-Boeing people will call it a C. Right? They're that easy to predict. Um, that kind of thing. So they'll get me wrong as well as the person. And then I know that they disrespect me, the person who gave the B, uh, even more than the person who got the B. Right? Or at least equally, because they degrade it to a C when in reality it was actually an A for me personally. So anyway, but yeah, I was like, so this is a, if it had been earlier, I might have chosen a different book for that assignment. But I did one on, on William Boeing. Um, so that's the introduction is, this in reading this, it reminded me of that assignment. Because <laughs> right, I went to, um, I think, was it, I, yeah, they, they have, they had a copy of this at Shoreline Library or something and, um, uh, the biography section of Shoreline Library is much larger than it used to be um, and differently shelved. Maybe I should do a video there as well. Um, but that was where we had gone looking for the biographies for that assignment was Shoreline Library. And I couldn't, and I was like, I'm just gonna go with William Bowen. I'm happy I did. Um, so book notes, it's paperback. I thought it was a good amount of text per page. It was a lot that she puts in here, like as in terms of content. And so, uh, it was like a lot of, sometimes there's a lot and then it's a easy to read a lot. And there's like, then there's just so much and it's like, it, t it slows me down a little bit. And so it was that kind of a book where there's a lot there and there's a lot of text. And so it's like, whoa. Um, <laughs> yeah, this girl, has, this girl has a story, <laughs> right? Um, and then at the page numbers are at the top of the page along with author name and uh, name of the book. So this is autobiography slash memoir. Um, and it's a memoir, you know, it started a fad. Now, you know, a bunch of swimmers have autobiographies or mem slash memoirs. But did it start with her? For this, for this particular one, how many pages is it? 248 pages um, in, in this realm. 
in America, a lot of people liked to, yeah. Uh, okay, so book notes. All right, I, it was a, it was, so the paperwork is the one I want, that paperback one is the one I read. I thought it was a good to hold in my hands size. Like, that was another standout. Reading notes. I guess I've kind of touched that. There's there's a lot here. Um, it's, it's not a lot of words, but nothing's really said. It's a lot of words and things are really said. And I thought she did an excellent job on introspection. Right, even with those seven Olympic medals. I, um, it's not, let me just talk about the medals. Right? She actually is like reflect, reflective, introspective on herself and the journey and what it's been like. I thought that was excellently done. Um, yes, I don't remember what I rated it. I, I do remember being like overwhelmed with the amount of information. So I, d I don't think I gave it a five out of five stars for that reason. It was just like, you know, sometimes it's just like, well, it's like the big names in America and swimming with men, you know, tend to be kind of like, they have a lot to say, but they, they or they want to say a lot, but they don't really say a lot, much less introspect, <laughs> much less in a genuine sense. <laughs> so this is like, you know, the in-depth and in in deep kind of, uh, biography so it was just kind of like whew, there's there's a lot there you know like um in a good way but also like my brain gets got like it was getting stretched um so if you want to learn something about uh, uh, maybe like swimming but like a swimmer and a swimmer who truly thought about like what it meant to be a swimmer at the time as they were doing it and think to like put that into a book in a mature way from the Americans, there is no better than American American Heard. <laughs> no, I always get her confused with M Amber Heard, Amanda Beard, and Amber Heard, and I'm like, oh, yeah. so sorry, Amanda Beard, Amanda Beard. No, that's right. Sorry, Amanda Beard. Sorry, Amber Heard. I should put this in my befriending Amber Heard playlist. I recommend reading this one because I can guarantee I I'm I'm. Uh, that other people make that mistake too. So if you want to know something about who you're confused with in the swimming world, whether or not it's ever said to your face, it's Amanda Beard. <laughs> None other than just me. Tan is Corey Lately and I wish you here for you Seattle. So there we go. I'm filming this. Um, in conclusion, I am filming this Saturday, 11 May 2024. I'm Tanis Corley, Lee Nardi, she, her, hers of Seattle. And those are my notes from my 2022 reading of In the Water, The Can't See You Cry by Amanda Beard. 